Hello, so today I want to show you on how to clean a gas mask. This works on the S10, the CT12, the S6, GP5 and other gas masks. Um, it's probably best not to wash World War One or World War Two gas masks as, you know, they're very fragile and the rubber will just break. So the first thing you want to do is grab your mask, you want to take off your filter um, if you have any other moving parts, such as the XL valve here, let me just zoom out, Ooh, zoom out, here we go, the XL valve, you want to try and take it off, I'm going to try my best, there we go, it's coming, it's coming, let me just take the drinking straw off as well, um, oh, it is very hard to get off, but there you go, it's come off, then you want to, you want to fill your sink. Um, I'm using my bathroom sink. Um, there's me with my amazing camera. You can use your uh, any sink you want, really, as long as it's big. First of all, you want to fill up the sink, obviously. So we're going to put that bad boy in there. Then you want to fill it with warm slash hot water. You don't want to have it boiling hot. Uh, that's a bit too hot, but... If we just get to a, a nice temperature, so as you can see, it's sorry about the lighting, it's horrendous in here. Uh, let's add a bit more cold water. And then we, we're going to use some dish soap, uh, fairy liquid also works, um, other stuff like that works, any, any kind of soap will work. Um, that's nice and warm, now let's fill it up with cold water just to make it a bit more a little bit more less hot there we go there we go that is nice then we want to put the mask in so basically you just want to chuck it in like this chuck it in like that you want to push it in and just get it all submerged in the water um, then you want to chuck any moving parts in as well and then you want to get your soap I guess uh, you just you know just put it all over in here, all over the mask, and then you basically just fill it up. You just keep filling it up until the entire thing is submerged into water. I don't know how well that's going to do, but yeah, hopefully we will get this bad boy cleaned. You might want to put a load of soap in here. Um, you want to try and get it as bubbly as possible. Because uh, this mask, you know, you need to clean this mask very good. Um, yeah, so we're going to leave this submerged like this. Just, just leave it like that. And we're going to leave it like that for about 5-10 minutes. Right, we're back now. It's been about 10 minutes um, before we left the mask. And as you can see, it is all bubbly. And <laughs> it needs to be dried off. Um, yeah, I mean... As you can see, all the valves are, do work because, you know, that loads of water is coming out. But I'm going to get this dried and we're going to be back with you. Right, the mask is finally clean, okay? I don't know if you can see, but jeez. Basically, how I cleaned it was um, in here, I just shoved a load of, I don't, you can't see, but shoved a load of toilet paper and stuff. It still is um, a bit wet and stuff which I'll go over with a towel but I've got a new filter here this is a Scott Pro um, this is a Scott Pro 2000 Pro uh, what am I saying this is a Scott Pro 2000 safety filter um, it is a particular filter it's not an ABEC so if you're thinking about getting one of these to save your life in a nuclear war you're wrong. This will only protect you from dust, uh, um, asbestos, um, other stuff like that. Um, this this can withhold some diseases and stuff, some illnesses, some airborne diseases. But this is only a particular filter. I don't know if you can see inside there. As you can see, it's like a paper fiberglass. Um, yeah, it, it's it's basically just a, a layers of fiberglass or paper. I don't know what it is. So it's not um, charcoal or anything like that. But we're going to open this. This expires in 2028. So that's nine years. Well, maybe just about eight years. Just eight and a half years. If I left this in this packaging, this could probably last to about 2050 maybe. 
Um, depending on how good the packaging is, the only reason I don't like Scott Pro is, I mean, look at this. It's got no, it's got no cap on here. Um, yeah, it's got no cap on the bottom. You know, it's in a flimsy bag and easy. I could just stab a hole in it and then the filter's gone, basically. Um, what you want to be looking at is probably like the best uh, NATO RD40 filters and stuff like that. Um, they come in like a silver package, but I do want to try the mask um, with this filter just to see if it is dried out and see if all the valves like work. Right, let's open the filter. Oh, I'm going to need a knife for this. Oh, trusty knife. Right, here we go. Alright. It's got that nice packaging smell. It's got a lot of air coming out. But this is the filter. It, this is the filter, basically. Particular thing um, here. And then you've got that. I don't know if you can see inside it. But yeah, this is, this is a nice, nice filter. Um, but yeah, it's just basically a Scott Pro. It's a particular filter. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. This cost me about £4, I think it did, on eBay. If I remember, I will leave a link in the description. But to be honest, I am going to be buying a load of these. Um, where is it? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll put on screen right now of what it can defend against. I'm pretty sure it's some viruses and, and stuff like that. But we're going to put the mask on. We're going to put this filter on. We're going to spray some deodorant and see if it works. Right, so I got the mask on with the filter. I don't know if you can hear me or anything, but we're just going to tighten up the mask uh, a little bit. Here we go. Trying to get an airtight seal. Um, it's pretty pretty airtight already. I don't know if you can hear, but the uh, voice diaphragm must have water in because it's making weird noises. But other than that, it's, uh, it's a pretty good airtight seal. I'm going to get some deodorant now. I can't smell that. Uh, we are gonna just, you know, just go around the seals. It's a bit, it's a bit loose here, but that's uh, just because of uh, how I've got the mask on right now. But yeah, I mean, I mean the seals work fine. Um, if we just. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the filter works and the mask works, which is uh, which is good. Uh, like I said, there must be a problem with the voice diaphragm. There might be a bit of water stuck in it, which I will um, get onto that now. But if you've enjoyed this video, remember to smash like and subscribe if you're new around here. Tell me in the comments what you thought about this video. Uh, did you like it? Did you not like it? I know my last video didn't get very many uh, likes. It got about seven likes, and I think it got about... Um, free dislikes so i'm sorry for the people who didn't like it um thanks for disliking but next time could you comment on my video telling me what was bad about the video um other than that guys i'll see you later bye